to do is take an application, which remember, can, can just have information about the terms of the deal and or information on qualifying the prospective buyer in any form, in any form. Uh, and, and it is and, um, the, uh, you, you, ought, you can't just take the application, you also have to offer or negotiate the terms of a residential mortgage loan for compensation or gain. One of the big questions is, is a seller engaged in these practices for compensation or gain? I don't, I, I don't imagine that a court will have too much difficulty in deciding that even a seller negotiating the terms of the sale of his own property is in doing so for compensation or gain. I'd like to believe there would be an exception for that, but so far it's not in the regulatory scheme, it's not in the statute. Continuing, loan originator, an individual engages in the business of a loan originator if it represents to the public through all kinds of communications and advertising, including all of the above, any promotional item of any kind, that such individual can or will provide any of the services or perform any of the activities described in the previous slide, which means taking applications and offering the terms of a residential mortgage loan. So now you're a mortgage loan originator, even if you just advertise the, the availability of those services. Make sense? I'm not sure it makes sense, but do you understand? <laughs> then, here we go. This is probably, probably, the, the, this, I think, one of the biggest problems created by this statute. An individual takes a residential mortgage loan application if the individual receives a residential mortgage loan application for the purpose of deciding or influencing or soliciting the decision of another whether to extend an offer of a residential mortgage loan terms to a borrower or a prospective borrower or to accept the terms offered by a borrower or prospective borrower in response to a solicitation whether the application is received directly or indirectly from the borrower or prospective borrower. Now, what does that mean? The big question that we've all been waiting to have answered is, okay, if I don't get a license and I want to sell my property and negotiate through a licensed mortgage originator, can I do that? Because I don't want to get licensed and your 85-year-old grandmother who's in the nursing home that owns three rental properties who wants to sell her properties that are free and clear because she wants to generate and, and carry a note because she wants to generate some regular income she didn't want to have to sit for the 20 hours plus and take a test and pass a criminal and give her fingerprints and pass a criminal test and and give all her financial information up which is essentially what we're going to talk about is required she doesn't want to have to do that to be able to simply sell her properties and carry back a note. But if indirectly for another person involving the decision, I mean, if she plays any role, I, I suppose she can now get a, uh, you know, a guardian uh, to come in and make the decision. I don't see an exception so far for even guardians or trustees or uh, receivers appointed for the bit by the court. I don't see that in the regulatory scheme as, a, as an exception, but we'll see what happens. So it's the words indirectly that creates a problem for me because the argument's gonna be made that if you as the owner established what the terms were and you fed that to the mortgage loan originator or you established the terms or the, the criteria for selecting a particular buyer, you've been involved in the process and the information that's been given has been given to you indirectly so even if you didn't take the application never saw the application never saw the application even if you um, set forth the terms and didn't negotiate the terms in any way just set them out there and let them take it or leave it the argument's going to be made that through your agent you've got the information indirectly or you've set forth the the standards that you're going to require the terms of the deal that you're going to do so that's the most problematical uh, issue in the entire scheme to me. A lot of us can imagine that 
okay, I can't get licensed for whatever reasons, and there are going to be a lot of reasons that we're going to talk about. I can't get licensed for whatever reason, so that's all right. I'll just go down the street and I'll work through a license.